we need to do an import. So let me just copy this from the uh, from the documentation. We have to do this. So we have to bring in those styles. So I'm going to copy this back to the app and we're going to do another at import. So at import and we don't need to do this because we already have the dependency in our nodes module. We can just point to it like this. OK, so when you have this little uh, we don't need this forward slash when you have this little uh, tilde or whatever that's called. And it's going to point to the uh, nodes module. So we import the style and now we have to do this one last thing. I think um, uh, we have to do this. OK, so this notifier container, we have to add it as in some UI like HTML um, markup. So let's go back to the app and close this. And of course, we only have this one HTML, so we can just go in here and I'm just going to go ahead and scroll to the bottom of this and then just paste it here. OK, so that should get this working. And now we just have to test it and we can test this real quick just to make sure that it works. So let's go and uh, uh, let's go and do this. So I'm going to copy this line uh, back to the app, back in my memory component and let's go up. I'm going to do this a different way, but I just want to show you that it's actually working. I'm going to paste this and make sure this is imported. Make sure it comes from Angular under fire. And we have to inject that in the constructor. So copy this back to the app. And we want to do this in the constructor. So I'm going to do a private and just paste this in here. OK, so we inject this notification service. So now uh, let's look at the example. Let's look at a simple example because I don't want this complicated. OK, so let's look at this one. I'm going to copy this. Go back to the app. And let's say after we get this response before we return, we're going to just Print this notification out. We don't have an ID, so I'm going to remove this. Uh, so we have to pass this to this service. What if we do it that way? So let's say, uh, let's just remove this line. I think this should work as well. So we inject it in here and then we call it down there. So let's see. Yep, there we go. So you can see that it's working properly. So I'm going to refresh this one more time. And once the response come back, you can see that we have the message here. So we're going to create a service and then use the service instead instead of using their own service. So let's go ahead and do that.